read verse 29 again. Yes, sir. I missed it. <laughs> Go ahead and read. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness. Uh oh, you see what he said? Your carcasses going to fall in this wilderness. Go ahead and read. And all that were numbered of you, uh -huh. according to your whole number, from 20 years old and upward. From 20 years old and upward. All those that murmured against the Lord from 20 years old and upward, their carcass is going to fall right there in the wilderness. They're not getting out of the wilderness. Teach. From 20 years old and upward. So what does that say about the ones that's 19 and younger? They still kids, ain't they? That's right. They are still kids. So the Lord said, y'all your, your cars is going to fall in the wilderness. Well, how long are they going to be in the wilderness? Keep reading. From 20 years <laughs> old and up, which have murmured against me. Uh -huh. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear and to, to make you dwell therein. Uh -huh. Where Caleb the son of Jephaniah and Joshua the son of Nun. See, these ones going to make it in. Caleb and Joshua. Caleb and Joshua. Mo and, and, we, and, you know, you other scriptures let you know that Moses... Didn't even make it into the land. Because him, he smoked that rock, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He said, drink you rebels. He didn't even make it into the land. But look, all of those that went into the land was 20, uh, what, 19 years and younger, plus Joshua and Caleb. So we had kids that went into the land. Go ahead and read. Verse 31. Uh-huh. But your little ones, which ye should be a prey, which he said. Which, which he said should be a prey, excuse uh -huh. me. Then will I bring in. Uh -huh. And they shall know the land which ye have despised. See, he brought kids into the land. All the ones that was 20 years old and upper, they died right there in the wilderness. He made them wander around for, for how long? Keep reading up. 32. Uh -huh. But as for you, your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, uh -huh. and your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years, oh, and you bear your, your whoredoms. He said, your, your children are going to wander in the wilderness for 40 years and bear your whoredoms. Go ahead. Until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. Oh, so those was 20 years old and upward, they didn't get into the land. They died right there in the wilderness. Teach. They died right there in the wilderness. Go ahead and read. After the number of the days in which she searched the land, even 40 days. Uh-huh. Each day for a year. Each day for a year. Go ahead. Each day for a year shall ye bear your iniquities. Even 40 years. Uh-huh. And ye shall know my, bre my breach of promise. Verse 35, read it. I, am the, I, the Lord, have said, I will surely do it until all this evil congregation. You see that? He said, I, the Lord, I said it, and I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. To this evil congregation. Go ahead. And to all this evil congregation that are gathered together against me. Uh-huh. See, this... they weren't gathered against Moses and Aaron. They was gathered against the Lord. Right. Play. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. In this wilderness they shall be consumed. Uh-huh. And there they shall die. See, so all of those children went into the land. That's who went into the land, children. Because the ones that was uh, 40 years old and upward, they died right there in the wilderness. Now, let's go now. Let's go to uh let's go to 2 Timothy the third chapter. 2 Timothy the third chapter. 2 Timothy 3 and 14. Second Timothy 3 and 14. <coughs> go ahead and read that. But continue thou, 3 and 14, correct? Yeah. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, uh -huh. and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Go ahead. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scripture. Now look at this. You know, because we read, a lot of times we read over this. But you see this, what he said? He said, as a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which tells me that you're supposed to, be, you're supposed, supposed to start teaching your children this. Yes, just like the book said. Yes, sir. Just like the book said. He said, as a child, thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. And what are the Scriptures? That's from Genesis to Malachi, ain't it? Yes, sir. Not just the, you know, you just teach them the new book. No, you're supposed to teach them both books. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to teach them both books. But you see what he told Timothy? That from a child, Thou has known the Holy. So you're supposed to start teaching you when your child when your child is 
old enough to start understanding, you're supposed to start teaching them this. That's right, brother. Yes, sir. And that from a child thou has known the Holy Scriptures, go ahead. Which are able to make thee wise. Oh, you see what's going to make you? You see what's going to make you wise until salvation? The Scriptures. It didn't say the New Testament, did it? It said the Scriptures. Well, what's, that, what's ever said in the New Testament already been said in the Old Testament. That's right. But this is what's going to make you wise unto salvation. The scriptures, go ahead. Through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Go ahead. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by the inspiration of man. God. Did you see that? <laughs> it said all scripture is given by the inspiration of God, not man, right? Amen. Go ahead and read. And it's profitable for doctrine. Uh-huh. For reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Oh, wait a minute now, wait a minute. You mean you gotta go to the scriptures and understand to understand what righteousness is? Make it plain. You gotta go to the scriptures, don't you? Yes. You know, because you got brothers talking about, well, um, I believe in Acts. Okay, that's fine. But this now where you get your instructions in righteousness in Acts. The Acts of the Apostles, that's what I follow. I'm like, okay. Well, what do you think they followed? They went to the scriptures to get their right to understand what righteousness was, to get their instructions to re for reproof and for correction, for instructions in righteousness. That's where the apostles went to the scriptures. Verse 17, go ahead. That the man of God may be perfect, uh -huh. thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Right. Okay, so now you see he said, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto what? Salvation. Salvation. Now let me show you the wisest child. And he was wise until salvation. Let's go now. Let's go to Luke, the second chapter. Luke 2. Let me show you who the wisest child is, what, what was at this time. And still probably, still hold a record for being the wisest child. And he did it unto salvation. Luke 2, and we're going to pick up the verse 11. Luke 2 and 11. Luke 2 and 11. Go ahead and read. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, uh -huh. which is Christ the Lord. Go ahead. And so this, we talk about Jesus, aren't we? Amen. Go ahead and read. Verse 12. Uh-huh. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Skip down to verse 40. Skip down to verse 40. Go ahead. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, uh -huh. filled with wisdom, uh -huh. and the grace of God was upon him. See, so he was filled with wisdom. And the grace of God was upon him. Go ahead and read. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of, pa of the Passover. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me Jesus was keeping the Passover? Indeed. <laughs> Why? Because you're supposed to train him a child the way he's supposed to go, and he won't depart from it, will he? So his mom and daddy took him to keep the Passover, didn't they? Yes, sir. What are we supposed to be teaching our children? Keep the Passover. Yes. Go ahead and read, though. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Verse 42. Uh-huh. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. Uh-huh. And when they had fulfilled, fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tar tarried behind in Jerusalem. Uh-huh. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. See, so he was 12 years old. He, You know, they get ready to go home, leaving Jerusalem. He... He laid behind. <laughs> Twelve years old now. Go ahead and read. But they supposing him to have been in the company uh -huh. when the day's journey. Look, they done went a whole day's journey. They didn't even know he wasn't with them. <laughs> went a whole day's journey. Didn't even know he was missing. Go ahead and read. Yes, but the Lord did this though. Amen. Go ahead and read. When the day's journey and they saw him among their kinfolk, and acquaintance, uh -huh. and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. Uh -huh. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the, of the doctors. Oh, wait a minute now. You see what he's doing? 
sitting in the temple, sitting among the doctors. <laughs> Look how wise he is. Go ahead and read. Yes, sir. Both hearing them uh -huh. and asking them questions. He was hearing them and asking them questions. Go ahead and read. And all that heard him were astonished uh -huh. at his understanding you and see, answers. You see that? All that heard him was astonished at his understanding and his what? Answers. answers. Now, what child you know wiser than this? You don't know no child is wise, do you? Then he's standing in the temple uh, with the doctors and the scribes and the Pharisees and everything, asking them questions and answering their questions. Now, how many children you know like this? We don't know nothing like this. We ain't never heard nothing like this before. Have we? we ain't never seen nothing like this before. We could only read about something like this. So that's why I called him the wisest child. Amen. We'll go ahead and read that. Amen. 48. Uh-huh. And when they saw him, they were amazed. Uh-huh. And his mother said unto him, son. <laughs> you see that? Even his mother and his father was amazed at this. Go ahead and say, son. Go ahead. Why hast thou thus dealt with us? Uh-huh. Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. Uh-huh. And he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? Now listen, now he's 12 years old now doing that. He said, now, you know, why is it that you're looking for me? Go ahead and read. Look what he's saying. Yes, sir. How is it that ye sought me? Was ye not that I must be about my father's business? Ooh. You, he said, what y'all looking for me for? Don't you know that I must be about my father's business? He's 12 years old. Wow. And in the temple. With the doctors and the, you know, the scribes and the Pharisees teaching them and answering their questions. That's right. They was astonished at him. And his mother and father walked up, what, what is he doing? He said, don't you know I must be about my father's business? Amen. I must be about my father. Now, he knew this at 12 years old. Jesus knew who he was. What verse you finish at? Verse 49? Skip down to verse 52. Go ahead. 52. Uh-huh. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. Uh-huh. And in, fa in favor with God and man. He said he increased in wisdom and in, in, in his stature and uh, uh, in, in, the, in the Father with God and man. And in favor. And in God. favor with God and man. Thank you. Look at, look at this. He was only 12 years old. But then it said, uh, the scripture that aid to make you wise unto salvation, didn't it? That's right, brother. Let's go to Revelation. So we know Jesus was wise, wasn't he? Indeed. At 12 Amen. years old, he, he in the temple. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Revelation, the uh, third chapter. Revelation 3. And we're going to pick up at verse 20. Revelation 3 and 20. Go ahead and read it. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh -huh. If any man hear my voice and open the door, Go ahead. I will come in to him, and I will sup with him, uh -huh. and he with me. Go ahead. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Wait a minute now. He said, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Go ahead. Even as I also overcame. And I'm set down with my father in his throne. And, well, if he's sitting with the father in his throne, then doesn't he have salvation? <laughs> doesn't he have salvation? Yes, if he's sitting with his father in his throne? Yes, sir. He said the scriptures are able to make you wiser to salvation. What was Jesus reading? The scriptures. And now he got what? Salvation. And this is what we have to do. We have to read the scriptures and do them along with the New Testament, unto what? Salvation. Teach. Unto salvation. Everybody get that? Yes, sir. This is what we got to do. This is what we got to do. The same thing Jesus did. But the only difference is, is that we got the New Testament too. We got the New Testament. Now, let's go now. Let's go to Luke, uh, Leviticus, the 19th chapter. Luke, the 19th 